In this lecture, we're going to talk about two more groups or families found on our periodic table known as the calcogens or group 16-6A and the noble gas group or group 18 or 8A. Now let's begin with our calcogens. Now there are five main calcogens. Oxygen, sulfur, and selenium are all non-metals, while our metalloids are polonium and tellurium. Now notice, unlike group 5A and uh, 4A, which both have metals, group 6A, or the calcogens, don't have any metals. Now let's begin with oxygen. Now in this lecture, we're only really going to look at oxygen and sulfur, because they occur way more frequently than any of these three guys. So let's look at oxygen. Oxygen is the second most electronegative atom. In other words, it likes to take electrons. Uh, now we'll talk more about electronegativity in a future lecture. For now, it's sufficient to say that oxygen is the second most electronegative. It's second to fluorine. And we'll talk more about fluorine when we'll talk about the 7A group elements, or the halogens. Now oxygen, like carbon, also forms strong bonds, strong double bonds. And oxygen exists in nature in a diatomic or a triatomic form, namely ozone or O2 oxygen. Now O2 or oxygen reacts with metals, alkali metals and earth metals and uh, transition metals to form metal oxides. Now whenever our alkali metals react with our oxygen, they form peroxides. For example, Li2O2 or Na2O2, etc. Now let's look at sulfur. Now sulfur can form two, three, four, or even six covalent bonds with other atoms or molecules. And also, like oxygen, can form strong pi bonds, namely the double bond. So now let's look at our noble gases. Noble gases are group 18 or 8A, and they're also known as the inner gases. Now these guys are extremely stable, and therefore they're very unreactive. And they exist unlike every other atom, or most other atoms, for example oxygen, and nitrogen, and hydrogen. These guys exist in monatomic gas form at room temperature.